What's going on guys? I'm just going to make a quick little tutorial for you and run through real quick. This is going to be the Game Boy Color. Um, Game Boy and uh, Super Game Boy, I believe. Um, emulator for your PS Vita. This is a VPK file. It's already been created. And the uh, file I'm going to have you download is the Game Boy VPK. Now, once you've downloaded this file, all you're going to do is you're going to take your PS Vita running on 360 and uh, it has to be on the Henkaku exploit. Uh, you can use Molecular Shell or Vita Shell. Uh, what you're going to do is uh, just simply open up either or and activate your FTP client or your um, USB connection. And uh, open up your uh, root of your UX0. Now if you have Vita Shell, it's already going to open it up right to the UX0, which is what we're looking at right here. And uh, if you're using Molecular Shell, you're going to have to select UX0. Now, this only works for 360 uh, official firmware with the Henkaku exploit installed. There will be a link down in the description below on how to get that as well. That will link you to my other video. So as you can see, I already copied the Real Boy VPK to the PS Vita. Now the other thing is, is wherever your ROMs are going to go, I like to put them in my data folder and just create a folder called Real Boy uh, because you can navigate with this emulator uh, to wherever you need to to load the ROMs. So in this case scenario, we're just going to use uh, UX0 and then data and then uh, Real Boy folder. Inside that folder, you're just going to put the Pokemon Yellow version. Um, or whatever ROM, I'm using Pokemon Yellow version right here, Game Boy Color ROM, or Game Boy ROM, or Game Boy Pocket. Just place those ROMs in there. I've already done that, and uh, wherever you have the ROMs is automatically going to create a save folder for those ROMs. Uh, so you don't have to worry about creating any folders for SAV data. Uh, so other than that, just for principal purposes, all you're going to do is in your molecular shell or your uh, Vita shell, Again, just take this real boy of BBK and just copy it over. And I've already done that, so I'm not going to copy that over. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to exit this and go to the PS Vita. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, so I'm using my phone to record this, but we're back at the Vita. All you're going to do is you're going to locate your UXO root. For an example, if you're using Molecular Shell, you're going to be looking at this screen. Also, if you're using Molecular Shell and you only see the UXO root, you're going to have to enable your homebrew environment because if you don't, you won't be able to do any of the stuff that I just showed you before. Aside from that, just select your UX0 root by selecting X. And what you're going to do is just scroll down until you find your Real Boy VPK, which is right here. Here's the Real Boy VPK. You hit X on that. It's going to ask you if you want to install the package. Hit X for yes. And then after like maybe a split second, another notification is going to come up and say, are you sure? And it's going to request parameters and stuff like that. Just hit X again to confirm it and it will install. Once it's installed, you can exit your Vita or Molecular Shell just by simply pr pressing the PS button and swiping, and you will see your real boy icon on your <clears throat> XMB. So hit the real boy icon and hit start. Once it loads up, you're going to get to this directory. This is the UXO directory it's automatically going to see. Just scroll up a couple of times till you reach that data folder where you left your ROMs and hit X. Once you do that, all you're going to do now is scroll down to your real boy folder. Hit X again. If I can find it. And then just scroll down to your ROM. Hit X to start the ROM and it will start the emulation for the Game Boy Color or Game Boy or Game Boy Pocket game. And you're good to go. That's it. So there you go. And there's my ROM demo of Pokemon Yellow on uh, PS Vita using the Henkako exploit. So, make comment, subscribe, I'll talk to you guys later, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll have a few more videos coming out, as well as the uh, Macintosh installation versions of these files.